she weighed 120 pounds. My jaw dropped. Margo was picked up as a stray. I was there volunteering walking dogs at the shelter. I went home and I really just couldn't get her off my mind. I really jumped on the idea of fostering. Girl. It was just really a challenge for her to walk. We wanted her to lose at least 50 pounds. She could not stand to eat her food or to drink her water. It took a little bit for her to play. She just really wasn't interested. As she settled in at home, she became a little more loving. <laughs> it was important for her to walk early in the morning. Time for walkie walkie. I know it's early. Rain or shine. So this is one of our rests. We have to take a rest every once in a while because you can't keep up with these two knuckleheads. And that's okay, we don't mind taking a rest. The road ahead was going to be at least six months. Are you ready for walkie walkie? I didn't think she was always up for the challenge. Just a little walkie walkie. <laughs> Margo. <Whoop. laughs> the most rewarding part for me was really seeing her be a dog. Did you do a big walk? when I bring home a plush toy, they generally destroy it. Remnants of the alligator. <laughs> She's turned into a dog. eight months since her weight loss journey began. You have your final weigh-in today. We wanted to make it a big deal. The moment of truth. <gasps> Good job! Oh my God. Oh my God. And she surpassed that goal. Her prize was a humongous stuffy toy. So when we got home, of course, it was torn apart in about 3.5 seconds. I'm extremely proud of Margot, and I think that whatever her next chapter is, it will be with a very loving and caring and dedicated family. <laughs>